Hi, this is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. I'm filming here from the city of Luxembourg, in the country of Luxembourg, actually, and I'm standing right in front of the um, palace of the dukes, the people that um, run this country. It's actually a monarchy. But this video is actually about a question I got uh, from my subscribers. As you know, I usually answer questions that I get right away wherever I am and I travel a lot. So this question was about whether or not you can assign tax liens or tax certificates to other people to make a profit on that transaction. Before I continue answering that question though, go to my website. It's at the bottom of this email, juliamspencer.com. Subscribe there to my newsletter. You will not regret it. You get a bunch of coupons from my audiobooks, my ebooks that you can download any time of the day, 24 hours, 7, at my website, juliamspencer.com. Download them today, subscribe today. And so let's get to the answer to this question. A subscriber asked me if there's any way that they can actually sign tax certificates and tax liens to other people or tax deeds and make a profit on that transaction. It's kind of like an additional kind of like a wholesaling of tax certificates. And my answer to that is that yes, you can with a quit claim deed. However, you need to check with your particular county where you purchase that tax lien or tax deed to see if it's actually allowed. You have to check and see in that um, particular um, um, paperwork that you get from the county or from the tax um, official or the tax commissioner's office or wherever you, whoever conducts a sale is going to give you a certificate after you purchase a tax lien or a tax deed. It's going to say there to, um, if it's um, assignable to another person and what the specifications are. Generally though, however, with a quit claim deed, you can assign any kind of property or any kind of interest in a property to anyone via a quit claim deed and you can you can do that pretty much in any state um, again my advice is from a tax investor's perspective so go ahead and check with an attorney or with a tax professional on this um, actually a tax professional probably won't know this go ahead and check on this with a, an attorney or a lawyer and make sure it's it works that way in your county but generally you can do that in fact in the last um, couple of months I actually was approached by another investor who has bought a bunch of tax liens in my county where I live basically just gave me a list of all the properties and they had already um, redemption periods that were expired so I could have gotten these tax liens from him just with a quit claim deed and I could have just went ahead and barred the redemption rights right then and there without having to wait so it is possible however you know you, you do need to check with your county and with your city so um, um, go ahead and subscribe to my website juliamspencer.com don't delay you get all kinds of coupons all kinds of offers all kinds of bits and pieces of information you can actually post them to the bottom of this video you can also send me an email at realestate at juliamspencer.com and i look forward to hear from you and happy investing For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.